So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. It's time to do another section of the Horseshoe Trail. And I'm being joined by a friend today, Day Hike Dave. He's going to join me. I got here a little bit just before he did, but we're currently here right along Route 443. Up there's uh, what's called Second Mountain. Let me show you the map. We're heading, well, we're getting close to being in what's called the uh, Stony Valley, the Stony Valley or the St. Anthony's Wilderness area. There's a lot of uh, horse trailers here today. I used to probably encounter some horseback riders out there. Anyway, let me show you what the plan is. All right, so we are on map number 10 now. The last map is all we have left to do of the Horseshoe Trail, but we are currently parked right here. Actually, right here, right off Route 443. This is where I'm gonna meet Dave, but then one of us is gonna drive all the way down to here, to this parking spot. This is where I left off in the last video, and then we're gonna hike about 4.2 miles over here. Then up back up this trail right here, which is the trail coming up right there. And then instead of having to walk back to my car, um, I think we'll leave Dave's vehicle here. We can just drive back to where I parked. That'll be nice. I won't have to do that long road walk back. Yes, yeah, so I'm just waiting for Dave to show up. Like I said, I got here just a little bit earlier. I want to make sure I can find it. I did drive past it initially. It's easy to drive right past. But anyway, we'll wait for him to show up. I feel like someone's driving up right now. But anyway. We'll get this going in a bit here. Yeah, I think that is Dave. <laughs> hey. Looks like you picked a, uh, a busy day. day. We need yeah. horses. I'll, I'll, I'll let you park here because we'll, we'll take this back to the other parking lot. Okay. So I'll, way where you can jump in here. Oh, yeah, we could do it since you. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe we'll do that. Leave, leave her here. All right, I'm yeah. gonna, I'll get my stuff and then get All go. Right. I'll pull up right All right. Here. Okay, so we're leaving Dave's vehicle here. Just, just, does she have a name? No, I, oh, you don't I have a name. All right. And this is where I left off in the last episode. We came up here looking to see if there's parking. And then, there we go, there's our, there's our yellow blazes. And I was telling Dave, this is all, I've never been on any of this section. So this all be new to me. And there shouldn't be any like reroute surprises along this way either, I don't think. So, but we'll find out. <laughs> I think this is what the, the man of the creek, I think they call this. Yeah. Just answering some questions for Dave on his video about the horseshoe trail and get this weird area. There's like a Christmas ornaments in the tree and I think it's a frog. <laughs> and is, is that corn over there? Yeah. Anyway. Hey, squirrels or deer. I man. guess. There's our, our yellow blazes are there yet in the tree. Looks like there's like the, the creepy compound up there. <laughs> Here's the creepy compound. Not sure if someone actually lives here or not, but got the old school bus. Is it our yellow blades there? So there still is a horseshoe trail. So we spotted something over here. Not sure. Let Dave walk up there. Pretty wild. Huh. Well. Interesting. This is land that belongs to the gap, so military reservation, so who knows? Anyway. All right, so, so far this has been a nice section. We're still kind of following this. It's like an old road. I think, uh, like we saw this horse trailers at the beginning, I think a lot of horseback riders use this too. And no confusion. <laughs> so, but this, this section of the trail has been pretty well established over the years. So there's no reroutes or anything, so. But yeah. 
All right, coming up one of my favorite areas to walk through. These was well, a hemlock forest. I was just telling him to stay on the trail. Yeah, this tree is eating one of the signs here. Yeah, this, this is probably belongs to the gap. Indian Town Gap, but he's, his eating days are done. This tree's dead. He kind of ate that sign. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, the trails just come in following the border of the military reservation. There's some private property down there, some houses. Yeah, we may encounter those horses at some point. Pretty sure they're coming this way. I think if they, if they go the other way, I think up over the mountain, which I guess they could, but I feel like they would come this way. There were a lot of trailers there, so. So Dave's been asking me questions on his video about the horseshoe trail. He just brought up a, a question. Dave, he's walking up in front of me there. About what one of the weirdest things, because I had to think for a while. I mentioned that one I found those skulls of that one little place. But then he mentioned the goat. You guys remember Shadow Goat? I forgot about him. I think Dave wants to meet him out here. <laughs> so, no, no. But now it's time to ask Dave a question. <laughs> oh no. If you looked up the trail and you saw Shadow Goat, the black goat standing up oh. there looking at us, what would you do? Uh, I don't know. Out of curiosity, I'd film it. <laughs> right, right. Out of curiosity, I'd probably keep walking. But... I don't know, that, that one was pretty scary. Yeah. I don't know, if it was like the same goat I saw, I'd be a little concerned. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, what's he doing out here? Right. Down the hill, stream down in there. I'm going to have to already say it. B-E-A, beautiful. Yeah, there's his signature quote. <laughs> it is nice down here. There are some like houses on the edge up here. Be a cool place to live. Bridge time. But not for the horses. <laughs> it's been here for a while. Yeah. Seen better days. Yeah, so far this section has been really nicely marked too. Yeah. Beautiful little area. Dave walking across. Yeah, so telling Dave it's like we're in no man's land. Over there it's posted. Over here it's posted. But not here. <laughs> found this along the trail. What do you think it is? I don't, I'm thinking like when I was a kid I lived right beside right. Letter County. Yeah. And they oh. used to send up oh. uh, um, kind Things. of missiles to test the, to put yeah. a parachute out test the airwaves, which way the air was blowing. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's in there. But usually they'd parachute out, like there'd be a parachute. It's like, a, it's like firmly in there. I don't know. Maybe it's one of their unexploded, uh, Things. <laughs> we playing with it. Yeah. Well, it'll, it'll be quick. So I said, I have Dave lead. What does the double blaze mean, Dave? Turn. To the yeah. Left. If they marked it correct. Right. Turn to the left. Well, look. Now we're turning to the right. Yeah, that's kind of an odd one. I guess so. You don't get down. Right. 
I guess so you don't go straight here. There's like a little... They got it marked good. Yeah, because you could... You like there's two trails side by side, but they wouldn't take this one, so... All right. Dave passes the test. But there's a green blade. Oh, there are, yeah. Oh, I wonder... Yeah, because where we parked, it's called the Buzzard Trailhead? Yeah. Where, where, where we met. Yeah. So I'm, I don't know if there's another trail up here. I guess there must be. And it looks like it's... That's where it looks. Right. I miss the green. Yeah, it's kind of an odd area through here with all these mounds of dirt everywhere. I'm not sure they have this green trail yet. It's like there's a couple of different trails going through here. Some of them might be like mountain bike trails or something like that. Anyway. So we got a sign up here. Oh, I think I, I think I'm right where we are. Stop. Proceed slowly across the road. No roost. <laughs> Not sure what that means. No roost. Oh, this is the. Oh yeah, the Harris. This is the motorcycle club. So I guess they come up through here on their motorcycles. Okay, maybe that's their their building there then. Mm -hmm. But you're right. All right, another quiz question for Dave. What is this flower right here? I don't know. Well, you know it's not a dandelion. Oh, I was hoping you would see dandelion. No, I no he's right. It's not a dandelion. He's right. It's not a dandelion. It's, it's colt's foot. It looks like dandelion, but they don't have the. There's no leaves at the bottom of those. But yeah. All right. At least he didn't guess it wrong. And we're coming up to the very base of. The mountain. This is Second Mountain. <laughs> Real original name. Pretty sure our trail will turn that way. Yeah, my next section idea where we're going head headed over that mountain. So I was wrong. We don't we don't turn here. We gotta go. We're going up there. Dave's excited. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it looked like a nice place to turn that way, but anyway. At least we're not going through the... We're not having to walk through like rocks like that, so... At least not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I just ruined it now. <laughs> it looks like it's getting rocky. Yes, yeah, so this has been the most rugged section of the trail today. It's not terribly bad, but we got kind of spoiled for the most part. Yeah. Somewhere up here, it should turn, and we go back downhill again. I think it's downhill the rest of the way then. All right, so to be honest, this is about as rugged as the Horseshoe Trail gets. Because we're just on the other side of what's called Stony Valley, where it gets really rugged, but up here in the mountains, it's about as rugged as we get on the Horseshoe Trail. So, like I said, we, all that road walking, and, Stuff is worth it for the very end here. We gotta walk across the gushy part on this log. There's something weird up here too. Oh, I missed it. Almost fell. I got gushed. Yeah, there's like a something up here. The trail goes right past it. Oh, some wet in here. Huh. Yeah, there's our yellow blaze. Oh, what'd you, what'd you say? Let me go first. <laughs> hey, sir. Some hip wild hillbillies. Our trail goes up there again. Let's check. Oh wow, there's like a office chairs up there. You can have like a student desk up there. That's interesting. Alright. 
I know it is kind of it's slightly creepy, but yeah. there you can see how big it is. <laughs> it's still pretty rugged up here, but there's the top of the mountain. It's like I said, at some point, the trail's going to turn and head back down again. We're just kind of skirting the bottom. Like, tantalizingly close to the top. Yeah. Yeah, just told Dave up here, is, there's a big rock up here, this snack rock. We're going to take a break up here. Looks like a great one. Oh, there's a register up here. Like the log in for the trail. Trail register, they call it. Up here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, this big rock. You take a break on here. Yeah, there's a trail register. Maybe we'll sign it. We'll see. There's a tree there. Some decent views. Yeah. Of course, it'll be in the summertime, you don't be able to see anything, but let's see what's in the snack bag. I'm separate first here. Some nature's bakery bars. I think there's two of them in here. Got a blueberry one, too. And some, like a nut mix and some cashews. I think Dave's setting up a getting a thumbnail picture there. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, cliff bar. Cliff bar. Which one is it? Crunchy peanut butter? Yeah, crunchy peanut butter. I like them and the, the white macadamia. Oh. They're pretty good, huh? Yeah. I'm partial to the mint. I've never tried mint them. Coffee mint coffee or mint something. I've never tried that. Alright, so it's goodbye to Snack Rock. I was thinking of calling it something different, but I guess we'll just stick with that. It's like the biggest rock out here. I guess that's why the register is here then, too. Alright, so the trail should soon turn downhill. <laughs> Maybe another five miles. <laughs> no. Uh, well, how far did we come? You said we... 2.91. Okay, so yeah. The f about, f yeah. Should we turn down soon? So here is the big turn back to the south. Or at least the start of it. Well, maybe not the big turn yet, but... <laughs> We are, say, going uphill now. We start start the downhill trek for about a mile and a half. Kind of following an old old road here. Yeah, you can kind of see it's like an old road. So I was wrong about the big turn to the south. The trail did turn there a little bit, but we're still up here on the slope of the, of the foot of the mountain. It's not too bad up here. Could use a little bit of trail maintenance. There's some big trees you Dave back there kept trying to get around them. Gotta get someone up here with a chainsaw. It's, it's wild up here, it's just quiet. Like I said, we're in the most we're in that area now, the most wild area of the Horseshoe Trail. This area, and when we, and when we go over the mountain into Stony Valley, he yeah, was still just following this old, maybe a logging road or something. But wow, we're still just right at the base of the mountain. Wow. We 
are headed south now. The mountains kind of see it up there behind us. So we're we're headed. We've done that big turn now. <laughs> well, it wasn't really a big turn, but we're headed south. Yeah, there's like a little pond. There's got to be stuff living in here. Oh, there are some frog eggs out there. I'm sure the wood frogs and the peepers were in here earlier, but I see I see an egg mass out there. Probably salamanders in here. Yeah, right out there, there's white things. That's big. Looks like several different types of frog or salamander eggs out there. We just found this random open area. It looks like looks like they you see all the mounds of dirt, like they bulldozed this area. That's what these mounds of dirt are. Hmm. The horseshoe triangle. <laughs> sign here. Our road to head to the parking lot I think is right up here but just check this out. Jerry Zimmerman 1950 to 2005. Parcel land is dedicated to Jerry Zimmerman Sr. Regional Field Jerry Supervisor. Zimmerman. True leader. Cool. Yes yeah, so this is where we need to turn. The Horseshoe Trail continues up that way and that's where it begins, begins the journey up over the mountain that's the next section i'll do but we need to head this way back to where we parked or uh, my jeep is parked and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna quick run down there leave dave behind <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez, Dad. laughs> No. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that one? I know. <laughs> I <laughs> you gave me the option. I know. I should have thought a Because you know, Dave's vehicle's all the way up the over parking lot. You know, mine's still down here. So it'll be a long four and a half mile, five mile walk back for me. Uh on the way back there's a this caught my eye, there's like danger signs on it. Confined space, keep out. Oh, it's a, it's a pipeline, it looks like. Petroleum pipeline. Oh, that's right, because the horseshoe trail follows a pipeline up over the mountains. So that's, yeah. Wow. All right. I think the hatch is open. You can go down in. Uh, <laughs> See, it's unlocked. I guess it is unlocked. Go ahead, I'll film you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll let that go. <laughs> Almost back. I can kind of see the, the Jeep at the top there. Waiting, waiting for me. <laughs> to, 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 to. Like if I run up this hill, you know, real quick and just, you know, take off. <laughs> you could. I'd grab me a horse. <laughs> yeah, the trailer. We're back at the little parking lot. Thanks to Dave for coming along. We said in his video, my favorite spot was Snack Rock, that big rock to sit on and eat. Yep. But thanks to Dave, I don't have to walk back to my vehicle. I have to take Dave back to his vehicle though. I think I think I will though. <laughs> anyway. Oh no. So what you say we did like five miles almost? Yeah four point nine yeah. three. So like instead of walking miles. it'd probably be like three mile road walk back to my Jeep but so thankfully I don't have to do that. So but anyway. <laughs> you make sure you check out Dave's channel, Day Hike Dave. But uh, thanks for coming along and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.